people, 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 people. Que pasa, sac, pasa, what they do. Now, people, it seems like St. Elizabeth is no longer the breadbasket capital of Jamaica. It seems like it is no longer a farming town or community. It seems like it is now a farmer farming town. It is now a tecker town. It is now a thief town. And people, I will explain later in this video. Now, based on the information, it is said that a contractor, he was conned up yesterday and him basically get dropped out after a robbery at a construction site we are speaking about in junction we are speaking about in saint elizabeth and that person's name is 42 year old kasam hosted and he is said to be from mandeville and based on the information from the popo it is said that he went to a bank we are speaking about in junction for pick up some money and went back to pay his worker and while he went back to the construction site and was sitting in his van Two men approach and basically can him up and basically take with the bag with the money and also search up him vehicle. So people will see it once again. A next constructive member in society is slapped away by a set of waste men. We are speaking about some new millennial persons that don't want to work and want everything the easy way. Them sit down and pray upon people and take with them thing and then go and celebrate something that they did not work for. So the point that I am trying to make is that I am just showing you the mentality of these new young men in Jamaica. We are talking about these new millennials. They don't want to work. They don't want to sow. However, them want to reap. Them want people to put in the hard work and dedication. And then them come and take the people them thing. And even worse, them take out the people them life for no apparent reason whatsoever. So people, we are talking about some more nano. Them nano, head, them nano, conscience. They have no start of morals are scruple nothing about them they are zero we are talking about some waste man point blank and period now when we think about stuff like this it shows you it is a perfect example of how jamaica is running you don't have to be involved in anything you could be living your life perfectly you could be working hard putting the hard work and dedication and then at the spur of the moment one minute you're alive and the next minute that you're gone so people you have to be very careful with who you hire and as it pertains to this construction site, whenever contractors go to certain areas and they start to build some sort of complex, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling, there are always some set of persons from that era thinking that they're supposed to have priority. However, a lot of them are thieves. A lot of them are crooks. So people, in this situation, it sounds like a setup. More than like the possibility or the probabilities are. So my point is this. This is somebody that was actually working on the site that was a lookout. That was somebody that was prowling and praying for the people and money. And people, him call him friend. Because based on the Popo report, it is said that the persons take the money and them take the bush. Them take it back by foot so people they were lay waiting they got some sort of information them get some inside information that the money was on the way he went to the bank to pick up the money and then them take with the man life for no sort of reason point blank and period now people why i say that it seems like saint elizabeth is now the ticker town and it is no longer the breadbasket capital of jamaica it is a farmer farming town is because in a just one week we are talking about less than seven days we are speaking about three type of r o b b r i e s we are talking about on monday we are talking about four men basically freeze up we are talking about a fresco gas station we are speaking about in a place called Lakovia and then we are speaking about the next day less than 24 hours we are talking about some gunmen they also R-O-B-B-E-D the post office in a balaclava we are talking about St. Elizabeth once again so people we are talking about three type of stuff in a less than seven days people this is getting from bad to worse point blank and period now I hate to bring up the class card or the uptown card or the black versus white or black versus Chinese card. 
However, people will say that this is a black man and he is very successful. He is a big time construction man. He is a big time contractor. However, I want to see if he is going to get the same response. The Popo is going to put in all their effort like they did for Raja Chang and people like me say. It is about all lives matter and anybody that gets slapped away in an unjust way. People, the Popo need to do exactly what they have to do. They have to put in all the necessary resources what they can do and make sure so them get some sort of justice for this person because like me say every life matter point blank and period so the moral of the story is this that is yet to be determined we will see what type of action the poor poor takes because now this is a different man and people i am not saying that he is not an uptown person me just i said black versus white or black versus chinese jamaican let's see what happens so anyway people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up so the next thing that is popping in the news it seems like the big seat has people bored and people like them say it seems like the devil always finds work for idler so this lady she decided that she was home and she is bored and she needed something for basically put her in the stratosphere for basically take her out of this world take her out of this gloom and boring state that is in Jamaica and all over the world so she went to the supermarket and she decided that she is going to thief a couple bottles of NSA I think it's three people don't quote me because I know that I have the critics where I speak and about the bloggers whose friends always want to be specific and say yo you know say say a two buckle instead of three you always a lie ray te le le blue blah bling so therefore this is my disclaimer for basically quiet on a ras so anyways people take a listen take a look at the video and then i'll give my piece you're paying for it 10 times so it's two hundred and seventy six thousand dollars <laughs> now that she get catch, she a beg and she a ball, she is calling on the B-L-O-O-D of C-H-R-I-S-T. She want to be delivered, she need deliverance and she is begging for sympathy. She don't want to go to the place where I talk about the place where the poor poor them work. She don't want to get lock up. She is crying crocodile tears when the people them tell her say she have to go pay two hundred and seventy six thousand dollars because they are charging her ten times for the amount. So I guess she stole about twenty seven thousand dollars if my math is correct. So people will see it once again. These people them love for thief. However, when them get catch, them start for ball. Them don't want to go to the big yard. Them want to go home and them sorry. But people like me always say sorry can't buy soldier Larry. So therefore you are responsible for your action. So therefore if you got thief, you have to suffer the consequences. There are repercussions to every sort of action. And for every action they there is an equal and opposite reaction or polar reaction. So people, if she thief, she if go out the big yard, point blank, and um, period. And um, people, like we see, we have to set an example out of this thief because this two-foot pussy, this hyena thing, this mangoes thing, we are talking about the grab bag thing, it is getting out of hand. They are getting carried away. So therefore, when them hold on upon them, then for make sure so them get justice. Then for make sure that they get some sort of time or peace some sort of fine therefore there has to be some sort of deterrent point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now the next thing that is popping in the news is that we see that a lot of the main roads in Jamaica, they have been paved under the new government of Jamaica, we are talking about the Chinese. So therefore it seems like some people, some driver, they think that it is a race course, they think that it is a race track, them things they are the autobahn we are talking about in Germany. So therefore them decide that they want to speed on these roads and people, I am not sure about the specific, however I was told that this incident occurred 
We are speaking about in a place called Constant Spring Road, where a man basically tries to drive from the median or the middle section of the road that is not made for driving. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. Now this is my disclaimer, I don't know the specifics. I don't know if somebody bad drive this man and basically had to swerve and him end up in the media and him end up on the wrong side of the road or he ended up in the middle of the road. Men not really know. However, one thing that I do know that there is a lot of minibus that drives on Kansan Spring Road and people when we talk about drive, may I talk about like some mad bat out of hell. So therefore anything is possible. And when we also consider the fact that there's also a lot of taxi men that drive on this road, people, anything is possible. And most importantly, it seems like most of the persons on Jamaica, them drive bad and they're always on their phone, they're always texting. So people, obviously something went wrong. And like I said before, I don't know exactly what went wrong. However, we know that there was some sort of accident. There was some sort of miscalculation because the man ended up on the median. Point blank and period. So anyways people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like I say, it is just my views and opinion, it is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.